We're getting another look at how Albuquerque Police's DWI unit may have mishandled investigations. News 13 learned the feds are looking into accusations. Officers were paid to get cases dismissed. Four officers who work or worked DWI cases are currently on paid administrative leave. One of them just quit the department. Now, a local attorney is sharing her experience, experience with one of those officers that she says raised red flags. KRQE investigative reporter Ann Perrette has details. You just have to pull over that you went a bit fast. I had you run 46 and 25. So I'm 21 over. That's Albuquerque police officer Honorio Alba pulling someone over last July for speeding. He tells the driver he ran her license plate and saw her insurance is expired too. While she tries to pull up a copy of it on her phone, he asks if she's been drinking. She says no, but according to the criminal complaint, he believed her eyes were bloodshot and she smelled of alcohol. So he asks the woman to get out of the car. So whenever you're ready, you can begin the test. After multiple field sobriety tests and the woman complaining of the wind, you didn't do through all these tests. She's arrested for drunk driving. We disagree. We didn't believe that there was probable cause to support his decision to arrest. An expected argument from a criminal defense attorney. M. Naomi Salazar's represented people charged with a DWI in the Albuquerque area for 30 years. She tells me not much surprises her. <laughs> except what happened in this case after that arrest. When Officer Alba and Salazar's client arrived to the Prisoner Transport Center, or PTC, downtown, he takes off his lapel camera. And it's supposed to be worn on the uniform so that it can pick up in a close proximity whatever the officer is observing. Attorney Salazar says he's violating one of APD's standard operating procedures and she should be able to hear every interaction the officer has with her client. But that's not all. Despite her client refusing a breathalyzer test, which elevates the charge against her to an aggravated DWI, Officer Alba told the woman to phone a friend to come pick her up. <laughs> He tells her the prisoner transport center, which they're currently inside, is closed, so she won't be transferred to the jail that night. She'll get a criminal summons in the mail instead. When I've never had a DWI client be released the way she was. Another standard operating procedure violation, attorney Salazar says, and then she points out how Officer Alba let her client go. She walks out the door and then he turns around and goes back into the building. We don't see where she got in the vehicle. What's going on? The, he had custody of her. He has an obligation to make sure that she's safe. And I feel that sh that obligation was breached. Attorney Salazar filed motions to dismiss the case, citing both violations. And just days later, it was, but not because of her motions. In January, Alba and three other APD officers were placed on the Bernalillo County District Attorney's list of officers who are considered not credible. As a result, nearly 200 cases have been dismissed. This was one of those. I was pleased and I was, I was happy for my client, but I was still surprised by it. I didn't think it went beyond this case. I just thought it was something, some error, what I believe were errors in the way this case transpired. I didn't think that there was a big picture or it went any further. Albuquerque police confirms if the prisoner transport center was closed, Officer Alba wouldn't have been able to even walk inside this building. Dispatch would have alerted him to the closure and he would have been expected to drive the woman to the Metro Detention Center where she'd spend the night after being booked on the DWI. And Perrette, CareQE investigates. Sifting through other DWI cases Officer Honorio Alba handled, we noticed this is not the first time he said that the Prisoner Transport Center was closed. In other now dismissed cases, the officer let DWI suspects out of custody the night of their arrest without booking them into MDC. He would then file a criminal summons days or even weeks later.